Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for a new series on Farthest Frontier. Now available on Steam from Crate Entertainment. I hope you'll check this out. We've talked about this a number of times. We've done series on this uh, game before. It is a medieval-era city builder, and it is a lot of fun. It's a beautiful game, too. As you can see from the picture on the screen, that's the actual screen capture from the game that I took. So someone else didn't take that. I took that. So, I uh, want to welcome you back to the channel. It's a home day edition of Let's Play. And we're going to start us a new village called Manfred Jensen Den. Yes. I'll let you uh, comment in uh, chat or uh, comments if you uh, know where that name originated. Uh, so, without further ado, or a train, let's kick it over. We are actually starting at the beginning. Yes, like the beginning, beginning, beginning. Okay? So, I have loaded into the game. This is version uh, 0.9.1a. I think there's a version 9.2 coming out soon. But anyway, it's in uh, early access. So, here's how you get started in this. You have your menu over here and all this. You do all your settings and really foo-foo stuffs. Go to New Settlement. All right? Now, um, we have different ways we can do this. Oh, they got new maps two i think no that's just the name okay never mind disregard so there there's super easy where you have uh lots of extra resources and hunting and wildlife but minimal hostile forces and healthcare adversity okay and then uh trailblazer which is kind of a, your normal starting and then vanquisher is you gonna get your ass kicked situation okay now all this is also um you can do advanced settings and actually set different things for different stuff, okay? So we'll just go trailblazer mode, okay? Idyllic Valley, here's different maps. You got Idyllic Valley, which uh, is lush and fertile, abundant resources, wildlife. Uh, it's good. It's a good starting ground. Um, the two up arrows means really good. The two down arrows means not so good. Brian Black, hey, hey awesome. How are you today? Welcome aboard and thanks for jumping on. So there you go, folks. Nine point two. Just started play testing. How, how long have you been playing the game, or have you been playing the game? What do you think about it? Uh, Alpine valleys and random is, is random. Uh, so you you can choose different difficulties on the maps. We're going to start with idyllic valley because why not? And we you can random choose your name. Okay. We're also going to go to a large map size, and uh, you can do pacifist mode which you can see it disables raiding parties, invading armies, aggressive animals like wolves and bears and boars. Oh my. Okay. So you can you can just build to your heart's content. Let's change the name here. Man friend Jen Sin Den. Did I get that right? I got to make sure it's a long name. I know. I know. I know. It is. Uh, let me kick it over here. Manfred Jensen Den. Yeah. Manfred Jensen Den. Manfred Jensen Den. Okay, we got it. Cool. That should do. So you can do your advanced settings and all that, whatever you want to do to uh, set up the game for your liking. All right, so now it's going to have a little introduction video. We are going to skippage the uh, intro video here. Life can be everywhere. Yeah, it be. It's whatever. All right, so... Uh, you have a thousand dollars in it. Outstanding. I have I have uh, several hundred. I think. It's so it's not something I'm new to. I just haven't played in a while because I've been uh, focusing on uh, medieval dynasty. Let me uh, just hit this here, hit this here, and let's just take a look here. Boop, 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 library. Farthest frontier. Oh, I have 147 hours. So, yeah. No, you, you you've been playing for a minute. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's terrific. I and I talk a lot when I'm playing. Say I have closing on 850 hours in uh, Medieval Dynasty. There's a lot of neat things from Farthest Frontier I'd like to see incorporated into Medieval Dynasty. And I had played a lot of um, Life is Feudal Forest Village prior to this coming out. And I picked up like uh, Foundation and uh, Ostriv, a couple others. But I just, I, this game is beautiful. 
I think is very well-rounded. The economy is fantastic. They, they've just done a tremendous job overall uh, with creating this job, uh, with this game. And I think the key po component for me of what I would like to see taken into other games of the genre, and, and my focus being Medieval Dynasty, is it is missing, this game has, those are missing filth, pestilence, and disease. Uh, wait, disease is, well, yeah, disease. Three common issues in this era. So, all right, so now we're in on the map here. So here's our first set of villagers, okay? Now we're gonna have to choose us a spot where we start. So they've scouted a certain area, okay? And now we've got to find a place to put our, our town center. Now, right here is looking pretty bueno because we've got this like relic thing, which I haven't never even dealt with because I haven't played in a few, a while, in a while. But look at all the trees. That's an absolute Oprah Winfrey buttload of trees. Plus there's greenery in the area. Okay, so this is stuff your foragers can gather. There's also berries over here that they'll be able to gather. All right, so that's good. There's not a lot of stone immediately available. There's some over here, so there's a trade-off. There's more herbs and berries over here. Ah, uh, here's some more stone over here, so we'll be able to pick up on that. There are uh, There's a medium-sized deer spawn here and here. There's a larger deer spawn over yonder. There is clay. Clay is good. Clay and sand... This is an interesting aspect to this game. Uh, oh, there's a raider camp. Dun, 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 dun. We'll have to go bust that ace as it comes along. Yeah, I saw, I, I read up on it. So yeah, it's a lot of combat updates. That's super cool. Um, so there's sand. All right, there's sandy low lead, sandy low lead. This is coal, 505. Um, anyone know what that movie's from? What, what movie that is from? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's actually get a little further away from the Raiders, I think. But let's make sure we're not putting ourselves into the path of wolves. Aha! Here is more stone, and there is a lot of trees. Oh, now when you get into hilly terrain, that is where you will start encountering wolves. There's boar here, and you can hunt them. You can hunt the wolves. Uh, the trick being you've got to really have an, a, an armed group of people. They will they will give you issues early on. So getting things up and going smoothly is critical. Now here's a coal deposit. Now you see the little infinite symbol. That means it's there's an infinite amount. Ha! <laughs> Imagine that. Like with these stones and stuff, and when you cut down trees and eat your lunch, just like your old papa, uh, eventually you will run that resource out. Uh, they'll grow back over time. And this game, like I've talked about on uh, Medieval Dynasty, you'll have... Like a tree like this over here, these little trees may give you one or two logs, whereas the real big trees will give you upwards of like 10 logs, all right? So you want to leave trees to grow and develop because you'll get more return out of them, whereas on, on Medieval Dynasty, you have birch trees, which is two plus one, two logs plus an extra log if you cut up the stump, if you dig up the stump. And in that case, the tree will never grow back. Uh Spruce trees are three plus one, and maple trees are four plus one. On here, whole different animal. You can get from one to like 10 or 12 logs per tree. Uh, so let's just kind of scroll over this way. This is the part that takes a minute. Finding a good place to establish your village. You want resources nearby. And then you can look at the top left corner, and you'll see fertility bonus and water bonus. Okay? Because you got to have water, and you want fertile land for your fields. The key thing is... You don't necessarily want to build your buildings in that fertile land. You want to save that for your farm fields. All right. I mentioned sand and clay because pH balance based on the crop type comes into play uh, on here. If you have peas or beans, uh, wheat, uh, other things, turnips, uh, flax, they will have they will prefer either a sandier or clay soil and you have to dig that up and then have your farmers basically till that into the field and that will improve the crop yield okay so that's something to keep in mind oh that looks like a wolf right y'all uh-huh see little snot i see him over there hiding 
lurking around. All right. Don't see much water on this map, so fishing doesn't look like that's going to be a real... Oh, there's another bad guy camp. Whoop, bro. Uh, and then the mountains, the key over in the mountainside, so you can do things like gather nuts and these nuts and iron. Iron is important. Okay, so that's not a bad find right there. There's clay. Uh, there's lots of stuff our herbalists can gather. Fishing is good. I mean, it's not n absolutely necessary. Brian can speak to this better than I can. Oh, there's a third bad guy. Holy crap. <laughs> clowns to the left. Well, I would say clowns to the left and jokers on the right, but I'm surrounded by <laughs> having a dark helmet moment from Spaceballs. I'm surrounded by a-holes. Um, boar. Like Borophil. All right. Now, over here, this might be a gold or a clay deposit. So there's boar right there. You can take them out. There was the one sand deposit. And it's not necessary. It just helps. I, I think we're probably just going to pl plunk it down here about the middle. I don't want to get too close to the bad guys. There's deer there. Keep firing a-holes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> How many a-holes are there on this ship? <laughs> That's right. All right, so there's sand. We'll have to deal. We'll have to get over there. You know what? Um, this doesn't look too bad. I do want to be a little closer to these stone deposits. I thought we saw some, what, down here-ish? Clay, infinite clay. Clay. Bill Clay. Who's Bill Clay? Anyone? Class? Bueller? You, if you're a... Uh, ah, there's more stone over there. And there's trees. Okay. And that wolf we saw was wandering around down here below this area. And then you can see the foraging sources and minerals in range. Um, you know, that's... that's it. See, if we get over here, see how Clay just went to two ticks up? That's a good thing, all right? Uh, foraging, you got mushrooms, you got uh, roots, medicinal roots, nuts, uh, herbs, which are good for making soap, um, egg ghee, uh, straw, which is uh, good for making baskets to sell, and then you've got greens and berries. And in the berries department, you'll have, uh, uh, is it, blueberries that grow along the water edges which clearly we don't have and you can actually relocate those bushes you can pull those up and move them to your village which works out nicely and then there's um, oh there's another kind of berry that they come out in like summer 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 time all right so with that ruin thing right there i'm thinking you know what actually if we go right here ish it may take them. Yeah, I don't want to be right on top of that stone. But I want to get the stones gathered. And then I'm going to have to remember. Oh, wait. I've got my handy dandy notebook. And I can scroll back in here. I've got a list. That's Medieval Dynasty notes. Ah, Farthest Frontier. Now, I did a video a while back about how you can make lots of gold by acting. Ah, here we are. Here's the list I was looking for building sizes uh how you can uh make lots of money in the market but we're not going to be dealing with that immediately all right so for right now we just need to get these trees coming in and just trying to see yeah that dip day sure all right we're gonna put the center of town right there all right so now our people are going to start chopping down trees and eating their lunch just like their oh papa. All right. And so we've got a uh, housing shortage. Well, imagine that. All right. First off, let's take let's take our dude here and we're going to relocate him just a touch. Uh, just get him a little bit out of the way, say to right there ish. All right. So you got your building menu down here and all this good stuff. You can pause down here. You can speed up time. You can turn back time like Cher saying and all that good stuff. Uh, over here, you get center cameras, you get villagers, uh, and, and things. 
like if I hit the R, that's your uh, what you got resources. Okay. Uh, and then there's villager production, resources and storage, town info, and then villager happiness, which they are not happy right now. All right. We need to get those things up. All right. We got to find a big blue pill to give to this village. Down here is your building menu and stuffs. All right. Hit the building menu. You got various things like amenities and services. A lot of this stuff gets unlocked. First, we got to get the town center built. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, then you got housing. Now, housing, you have a couple different uh, things to work through. Tier 1, Tier 2. All right. Temporary shelters. Uh, stocked with food and supplies. A lot of workers for the residents. Yeah, this is um, this is a, a faraway thing for work stuff, and we'll unlock that later. Uh, for a lot of these things, you have to upgrade your town center and then maybe do some other stuff, have a number of villagers and whatever to unlock the, the higher tier stuff. All right, here we'll get our stockyard, uh, which is our uh, Home Depot. All right, that's where you have your, uh, your building stuffs. And then we'll have our storehouse, which is like Walmart. That's where you have other stuffs. And you have your root cellar, which is your Aldi or your grocery store for more stuffs. So uh, that's how that works, all right? So, okay. Now, that said, give me just a second here. Do, do, do. I got a new... Uh, I got a new uh, screen, screen. <laughs> hold screen. I made a fourth hold screen because of picture. I had used one of my previous things, so we got to build all this other stuff, and, and we got to build housing and Willy Fufu stuff. We can't build housing until we uh, get the town center built, so we'll, we'll get that done here. And then there's resource buildings, and then uh, you have defenses, which you have the, uh, the towers, and then you can build barracks, and you have palisade walls and palisade gates, and then there's roads and fencing. Uh, which help out, and then there's decorations, which make the place prettier, which makes the value of the buildings higher, and uh, will help them level up and make you more money because we want to make some money. All right, but there's also roads. So uh, when you harvest resources, this is what you do here. Just kind of take your, your mouse and kind of just click and drag. Boom. It's going to gather all that schmutz, all right? Um and we start with some food and stuff, so that'll work out. Now, you can tell it to, to harvest everything on here, all right? Or you can unclick it and say, no, nah, don't collect berries, don't collect bushes, whatever. Uh, then you can clear stuff, and you can uncheck, so you just specifically clear certain things. Manage your walls. Uh, you go drag and shift, uh, collect. Flatten the terrain. You can fart around with that a little bit. Roads. Where we're going, we need roads, okay? Uh, but I'm going to wait and we're just going to roll tide here for a minute. Now, up at the top here, you got the uh, anybody who's sick and tired always follows sick. Um, we got nine adults and three kiddos. All right. And uh, then here's our happiness level. And then here's our food storage. We have 11 months, zero set to spoil. It's a little on the chilly side. All right. We're early in the year. Usually the first month can be chilly. And then the last three months, that's winter. So basically, you're looking, this is spring, then summer then autumn, then uh, fall, or winter. All right, cool? Cool. All right, so everybody's hauling stuff over here. Now, this is going to make a, a difference. They're putting everything in our storage uh, cart here, all right, our, our ox cart, as it were, all right? And um, what we're going to wind up doing is using him as a mobile storage unit, and we may move him over to big build projects, and that way it gets him closer. It makes the turnaround time and the build time shorter. All right, that's smart stuff. Uh, build site needs to be cleared of obstructions. Yeah, yeah, so they're, they're clearing. Kids, pick up an axe. You can chip away at rocks. Get you used to doing some work. This down here is good. That There's herbs and greens and stuff. We'll probably set up our herbless hut down in this sector. Uh, the fact that there's clay here, that helps. Uh, also, there is deer. Hyo and hyo. Uh, and here we'll probably set up a hunting lodge this way so we can capture this and this group, these two groups of deer, and then there's a third group of deer. So that way you, do, you don't want to completely farm them out. 
That's the key. You want to kill them, but not kill them too fast so that you wind up SOL with no deer. All right, let's go faster, people. Faster. Nobody gets a house until we get the town center built, so let's go. Housing shortage. Yes, thank you. Please drive through. All right, let's prioritize this. Get, get, get pilling, people. And you can click on the item, and you can see we got the the rock. We smell what the rock is cooking. All right, hey, I, you know what? You know what? Yeah, whatever. So what I'm going to look to do here, as soon as these people decide to get their act together and start building the, uh, oh, you know what? I may not have people in the construction builders. Let's add. Nope, I can't do that. All right. So they're just, they're trying to get this cleared out. That's the long and the short of it. Get it all cleared out. Should be almost, no, no. All right, let's get that done. Get get the get the building. Why aren't we building? Oh my gosh, people! Autumn, how you? Howdy, howdy. How are you, dear? Are you back home yet? You know what? I think we are gonna have to harvest this resource. Get the stupid rocks done. Come on, people, get your rocks off. How are you feeling? Are you home yet? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Maybe this uh, could have been placed just a little further to the left and been a better deal. I didn't think that rock uh, piece was this big. So, if anything, we're going to have a crap ton of building materials. <laughs> That'll be nice. All right, so let's see. Housing is what we're going to need. Um, amenities and services. Blah, 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 blah. All right. What we're going to need to do is figure out roads. And I want to figure out roads based on the citadel. What does that mean? The citadel is going to be the up armored protected center of the village. Oh my gosh. Really? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? We're almost halfway through the year. This is the longest it's ever taken. There we go. Hooray. <laughs> Praise God. Okay, let's get this built, people. I know we got all the stuff there, so let's just dump it all off. Yeah, see? Now, move you here. That's going to get you a little closer. All right, good. All right, now, full stop. Pause. Actually, we don't have time. Pause. Pause time. Okay, so there's our town center. Now, this is the defensive core of your village. Oh, no. Well, just go easy. Work the process. It's going to be okay. Um, this is the defensive core of your village, okay? So early game, if you get invaded, and we know we found three bad guy camps around the area, that we're surrounded by a-holes, that you can call everyone in to basically uh, retreat into the town center and then they'll start firing arrows at the bad guys, okay? Now, what are the bad guys after? They're after anything in your storage facilities, okay? So now, see, we can build, we can't build a market yet, but we can start building housing. But the key here is storage. We have to build a stockyard first. So this is where your building supplies go, all right? And then you got your storehouses, and then you got your root cellars. Then the next tier of buildings, wagon shop, not big deal. That's that's a wagon is used to transfer stuff around the area, okay? And then there's granary, okay, whatever. Now, a vault, that's a little more important, all right? Because this is where uh, it stores your cash and weapons, okay? So that's good stuff there. Uh, and then Cooper, eh, whatever. They, um, they build barrels, which improves the storage life of stuff particularly in food storage your root cellars and what have you okay so that's that's how that works
So um, what we're going to want to do is create a, a, a defensive perimeter around the citadel where this is our core unit, okay? And then we build these buildings within firing range of this building until we get to the point where we start building towers and barracks because you can position people in barracks. You put a couple people in towers and they'll shoot at bad guys or at animals. So they'll, they'll take out animals too. If you put them out in a position where there's wolves that come in and start jacking with your people, you can put a hunting lodge out that way and they'll take care of the problem or the lookout tower will take care of the problem. And then barracks, those need to be in the area as well, okay? Because then you can arm up troops there, train them up, and then uh, that will act as a rally point. Uh, and then they will also fire out of that position with defensive fire to protect your village, okay? So everything is core based around this. So if you can put the critical buildings in this citadel area, then you can establish a wall perimeter around it to build, start building what I call defense in depth, all right? So you have your core defense, things that were within range of it will be better protected, then you have a wall around that, and you put towers inside the corners of that wall, then your defenders are able to reach out and touch someone sooner and whittle away at the numbers. Because what happens is over the course of years, the number of raiders that attack you, if you have raiders turned on, it increases by a few each. It, it usually get raided like every three years. And that starts about year six or eight, uh, if memory serves. All right. So, handy dandy notebook. So, the town center is six by six. All right. Uh, we'll need a market, but the market winds up going in the middle of the residential area and it raises the value of homes around it. The town center has a similar uh, uh, buff that it, it has a radius around it that it will raise the value of homes within that radius. Now, the interesting thing is there are industrial buildings like your cobbler shop, which makes shoes. Nobody cares if that's near their house. But uh, there are other, like the soap making uh, shop, which is resources. You get into stuff like the sawmill, the saw pit. See the desirability with two down red arrows? People don't want that near their house. Okay? Um but if you do cobbler shop, it doesn't bother anyone. Tannery, bothers them. Compost yard, bothers them. Okay, that's your poop plant. Hello, Steve-O. Hey, yeah, Steve-O's happy. We're doing some farthest frontier. Yes. Welcome aboard. Hope you're having a happy hump day. Yeah. Uh, compost yard is one of the things I think, and this goes into the three things that uh, medieval dynasty is missing. I've talked about this, is, you know, uh, pestilence, disease, and filth, right? So what you have is the guy that you hire here is the night soil collector. And he'll bring a wheelbarrow into town and he'll empty everybody's crappers. And they haul all that to the compost yard. And once one of the three bins, or three bins, once it gets full, it starts going through its fermentation process or breakdown, whatever, into becoming fertilizer. And then you can assign it to a field and then it gets... It fertilizes the field. And so this is something I think that medieval dynasty needs. Because first off, there's no filth, there's no disease, there's no pestilence. But I mean, people back in the day just threw buckets of crap out in the street. They crapped in a bucket in their home and then they just threw it out in the street. Okay, or they threw it out the back door or whatever. And it took time for them to start realizing, hey, this is what's causing disease. I mean, just look at the late 1800s in New York City. It was literally New York shitty because everybody rode horses through town. Their horses crapped all in the streets. The, the streets were all mud and all that stuff. It's Thursday? Oh, it is Thursday. Damn. Oh, it is. You're right. I got con Okay, it's been one of those weeks. I did a Tuesday, Wednesday job. No, yes, Tuesday, Wednesday job down on Lamar. Was there all day. Oh, we got 50 shades installed. We didn't do 302, so that was 10. There's 63 total, so that make it 53. 
Oh, we, we installed 49 of the 53 shades because they had made some changes to the layout. It's a 101-year-old building. I've talked about it before. So, and then today I had a little job, but also um, both my parents have COVID. My dad is really sick. Um, he waited way too long to seek treatment. He's, I knew he sounded bad Sunday. But he's seen his doctor. He's now on meds and getting treated. Mom tested positive for it, and we'll see. Her situation's still dicey, but um, we'll see. Hope for the hope for the best. Uh, already planned for the worst. So, yeah, You're glad you brought that up. Yeah. So I got like two jobs tomorrow. Okay. Whew. Yeah, I got to keep this straight. Uh, anyway, all right. So what I want to do is find where we can put these things, and we want the trading post within the Citadel as well. That's a four by five building uh stockyard four by four okay so and this the reason this becomes a thing for me is i'm a little bit of attention to detail guy if you hadn't noticed that right we want to build dirt roads surrounding this but the more roads you put in right it pushes those buildings a tile further away from the defensive structure does that make sense it makes sense to me okay so if we look one two three four five six right this is six by six your um, root cellars are two by three. So you could put three root cellars right here on one side, okay? And then in theory, you could put, you know, like a road. And then your uh, storehouse is four by three. So in theory, you could put a storehouse one, two, three, four here and one, two, three, four here because you're probably going to need more than one. Now, the other key here is when you build the trading post, you want that centrally located to all of your storage stuff because you can put one or two people in the trading post. And when you go to trade stuff, they got to take a wheelbarrow and they got to go over to wherever the stuff is stored, including out to the production. So like the tannery, if they're going to get some, some you know, hide coats or you know, heavy coats, and those haven't made it into resource storage yet or your Walmart, which is this building, right? They haven't made it into that yet. They got to go all the hell the way out there and then bring it back. It's really inefficient. So to expedite your trading ability, you've got to kind of plan this a little bit to have everything centrally located. That way, if you're, you know, you got a trader in town, you can, I mean, they're, they're there for like a couple of months, but you may not have the stuff, you know, uh, built yet or made yet. Uh, or you may have a second trader come along late and maybe you need to trade something from A to B to get some cash to buy something from A. You see what I'm saying? So you want to try to keep everything under defensive cover and you want it to be efficient for your villagers to move around and take care of. So if we put our food storage root cellars here, for example, these, these tiles here, that means we would put a road over here. And then maybe we put our, um, uh, Walmart storehouse. Okay. We could put one here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Cause we could put a road across here. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to build a road across here like this. And I think this is going to take us, can't make it too long to start with. And you can make curved roads and stuff, so it's really cool in that regard. But I'm going to take this out far enough so that we could build a hunting lodge out here. All right, so there's that road. All right, now our people are going to start working on that. The next aspect is going to be, okay, so we're planning to do food storage here, okay? So we can't build across this road. We can build up to it, all right? So one, two, three. And then we're going to build this road here. And then I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop here. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. We're going to stop there. Actually, no. I want it. Uh, all right. So if you want to undo something, let me see here. You click on it, and then you, uh, you can just delete it here. Boom. All right. So that takes out the whole road. I'm going to go one more tile with this. So one, 
right here, one, two, three, boom. And we're gonna go out one extra tile here. So we can create a road intersection here if we want to. If not, we can always take this road out and rebuild it. No big deal. All right, so there's that part. Now, so the plan's gonna be food storage here, Walmart's here, and then we're gonna put the, um, what is it? It's the, the trading post is four by five. That's kind of big. That may go right here. And this road may go out this way. So that puts it on the corner right next to the Walmart storage and the food storage. And we may just put the, uh, cons the construction storage, the stockyard, right here. Hmm. You know what? I think that'll do. We'll put that there. Okay. So now we kind of got this area planned out. What's going to be over here? Then that leaves this side over here. We can put a barracks. We can put a vault. We can put whatever we need. Then we can decide over here if we want anything. The key is we don't want to be too far away from the town center when we start setting up our houses. Uh... I haven't been on in a couple days, so I don't know what if uh, if Q got her computer or not. Maybe she'll check in in a bit. I mean, it's only, what, it's almost 5 p.m. out there on the left coast. And she'll check in and let us know what, what it is, where that would be. So, all right, so figure this is where the walls are probably going to be in this area. And... put that there gosh I had this planned out wait a minute maybe I got some drawings here town center six by six blah 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 okay three by three statue park housing around it thing down the middle there's a couple of there's a couple of different ways to look this out uh, look at this I'm going back to my notes because it's been literally uh, It's been, you know, months since I've played this. So. Uh, I think. So we could put a wall here. I mean, a road here or we could put a wall here. And that's what I'm currently thinking through. I think we're going to put a road. No, not a wall. No, not flattened terrain. Road. It's where we're going. We don't need roads. All right, so we'll put this road across here. Okay. And now I'll save us. We'll save some space on this side so we're in tight with our coverage here, defensive coverage. And then maybe s save a couple of tiles here. At least one tile. And then the wall would go here around the citadel. No, we're not going to manage walls. Um, roads and fencing. Let's use logs. That that's using logs that we don't. Oh, you know what? Oh, we can actually do this. Hold up. Here's the here's what we're going to do. I don't think we can do defenses yet. No, we can't. But that's okay. Um, we're going to do some place marking. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave a tile here, maybe two. And we're going to position that this here is going to be where the wall goes around the citadel. Okay. And I think, let me just check this. All right. So if we do that, okay, now I'm going to click on this and disable con construction. The problem is, nah, see, no, nope, I'm going to take that out. It'll be easier to just put a road there. We're going to take that out. All right. So now I can go down here to, to uh, manage walls and then, we're going to just go across this here. We're going to go across this here. And we're going to just uh, uh, salvage the building. Yes. All right. That takes it out. So then you get some of your materials back from uh, construction. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. She was supposed to get together with you, and uh, you guys were supposed to talk about the PC situation. So <clears throat> I'm started looking at stuff for myself, too. All right. So we're going to save three tiles out. And that will put us outside the wall. And then I think we're going to start our uh, construction there. 
and let's look and see. We can do two tiles wide of like park stuff. Parks come into play. And then um, housing. Okay, let's get housing going. All right, so simple house. So we got three tiles we're not going to deal with. All right. And then we're going to go here, but we're not going to build on these two tiles here because that's where there's going to be park stuff in the middle. So we're going to come out to three tiles and this kind of sucks because it's already put me in a bad spot. Whoops. Crap. I hate that I did that. Um, it's tab rotates the build. There it is. Tab. Yeah, I got to remember these things. All right. So that will give us two tiles, blah, 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 blah. And then the wall. And then housing, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you guys did get together and talk about it. That's good. That's good. I like it. The statue or park can be in the middle, but I want the market to be in the area. So we're going to do a three house, one, and then actually um, this is going to be the priority side here get those two built we're going to do a fancy path down the middle okay so there's going to be stuff and then this and this okay 12 people 4 people per house Okay, so see here, here, and here how it says 10 logs? These places have to have clearing work done. We're going to turn off the construction on those because we just want to make sure we get houses built for our people first. All right, and we'll prioritize building on those. We should have the materials for it. All right, and then we're going to move the cart just a little bit closer to the build sites. We'll move him there. All right, so there's that. Now, in a minute, we're going to need to do like a well. And then we're going to need to like our hunting uh, lodge and stuff like that. Let's get cracking on this. We're going to have to start getting our firewood up and producing too. So that's going to be in resources. There's a well. And you can see the green, I mean the blue. And you'll see the number. See how it's but water bonus 57%. 56 we're in a good area water wise and this is a bonus for your houses so actually i think we're going to just put the well for now right there uh and then we're going to need this is a wood cutter a firewood splitter and i think we're going to put him just over here uh i'm gonna put it well all right, I'm going to try to put them in a place where I don't have to cut down trees. And this would be good. Okay, yeah. If we put them here, we won't have to cut down the tree. All right, so you want the firewood going. All right, so here's houses coming up. All right, so now they got to get firewood. And prioritize the firewood splitter. So now we got three houses. All right, so everybody's got housing up here. Now see they're kind of moderately happy. All right, and we got, okay, more people want to join, amass a four-month supply of food and six houses. Got it, okay? We have an eight-month supply of food, but we're going to lose uh, some in a, a few, you know. Now we're going to enable construction here, which means this rock has got to be removed, and then we're going to enable construction here as well. All right, firewood splitter requires eight logs all right now this is up and going so this is good oh he kind of tripped out there a little bit didn't he all right so now we're moving along we're going to kick it up to two times speed 
We got a well, so in case there's a fire, people will do the bucket brigade and go put out the fire. Okay, so now we have a firewood, right? Somebody is stalking in the firewood splitter, Alabara, Al 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 Alara. Okay, we need logs. So up here, it's telling us how many logs we have, then how much firewood we have, then how many planks we have, then stone, clay, bricks, which are made from clay, and gold. All right, now, a couple more things we need to get going here pretty quick. Food production, okay? Uh, we need a forager shack, and we need a hunting cabin. We're going to put the hunting cabin right about here, I think. Yeah, this looks like a pretty sporty spot. I like keeping a couple of tiles between. Okay. And that's going to be a priority. All right. I know if you make everything the priority, then nothing is the priority, right? Uh, the other thing we're going to need is a uh, forager. There's a lot of stuff to be gathered over here. There's a lot of stuff to be gathered over here. Now, the trick is these buildings. Now, you saw when I laid out the uh, the hunting cabin, there's a yellow circle around it. Okay, Look, watch the forager sack. See that? That's the radius of influence, the sphere of influence. Okay, so we're actually going to put this right here, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll cut down the tree to get it taken care of. And we're going to prioritize it. All right. And that's because then whatever's in that radius is what they'll collect. However, the interesting part of this is you can move that circle. All right. So that's super cool. You can move the circle around and that will allow you to capture stuff that maybe isn't in season or it's in season or whatever. All right, so, and we want, the forager, you have to clear them out come winter time. So you can move them to hunting or whatever. Excuse me. Now, here are the geese. And you can see the color change. That means we've entered autumn. Uh-oh, where's the predator attacking? So I hit the uh, space bar to pause. Now I'm going to click on this, okay? And it'll take me over here. All right, this guy is getting attacked by a wolf. Or this woman is all right so now here's someone here's someone there's a bunch of someone's so what we want to do is get those someone's to go gang up on the wolf oh, I, so you you highlight the someone's see the sword we're gonna right click see the red flash that means we're on target all right they killed it now there's a wolf uh, carcass there now she's she got her ass kicked, but she'll be okay. Problem is we don't want anybody to die early on because that's bad. That would be bad. All right, this should be ready to go here pretty soon. If we click if we click on the, damn it, the rocks. All right, there it is. Three, so it's got three left. All right, so the road's getting pounded out too. All right, so work areas. This is what I was talking about. So you confirm this. Okay, cool. This is the work area circle here. So we can move this around. Now look at the bottom of the screen and you'll see what's in cap in, it's captured in that space. And so it's saying, so we're going to set it right there. That effectively captures all three deer spawns. See how many deer there are? There's like five there and there's like five more there. And then there's more here. Hawthorne berries were the berries I was trying to remember earlier. Ooh, we got iron right here. What? That's awesome. That works out. Okay. So now we're about to get this uh, forager cabin built, which is going to suck because um, it's going to be right at the end of the season. But maybe they can get out and grab a couple of things. Uh, let's get this house prioritized also. And then you can assign additional people. Problem is we need people gathering uh, trees, right? And this may be a little unfortunate, but uh, let's go. Oh, so harvest resources. We're going to harvest all this over here. Okay, so again, we're going to de-click uh, all this stuff. We want them to harvest trees, and that's it. Okay, 
go get trees, we need logs. And then we can do the same thing down here. And down here, we'll gather everything, but we'll actually gather stones too. Well, actually, hang on. Let me hit this and do this. And now it, you've got to have it clicked before you, you select the area. Okay. Oh, wow. You found uh, a sweet system. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's in general chit chat. And, okay, I'll check that out, bud. Thanks. I mean, I don't think I have the budget she does. I'm trying to look get out from under for under two grand, I think. Maybe 25. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, so now we're basically winding down year one, okay? And notice, okay, here's our, here's our forager, and we're going to have them set up to gather, get out here and gather these greens. The berries are out of season now, or they may have gathered them already. There's greens. Those are out. Those have been gathered. There's more down here. This may actually be a better place if we just come down here. They, whatever keeps them closer in. Makes them more efficient. But now the problem is, see, they're seeking shelter, and we're getting a, an early snow. And the season changes are really cool. So if you hadn't noticed, here's how you can zoom in. And I can right, no, center, there we go, center mouse. All right, so now we're, show, we're going into winter time. okay? So now I click here, idling, unable to work. All right, so what we're going to do is click on the building and ta turn off the production. And then they'll go do something else, all right? So we got some firewood, we got some logs, this is good. I wanna make sure we have plenty of firewood, so we're gonna put this dude, and that was the dude who was our uh, forager. He's gonna go get busy there, okay? And now that we've got this stuff coming in, okay, we can start looking at building other things. Um, we're gonna need a smokehouse, we're going to put that far away from our people, but also not right next door to the uh, hunting shack, simply because I don't want the fire to spread if they catch if it catches fire. Okay, so we're going to put that there. We're going to extend the, the road out this way. Yay! We got our first baby villager. Hooray! We don't have six houses yet. Now we're going to. Turn that on, and we'll, that'll get us six houses. And then we'll start getting groups of people in. Oh, we don't like the wolves. Don't like the wolves. No, no, no. And we could put a second person. Oh, no, actually, you only have one person in the hunting cabin. And you'll see them fire their bow and go skin the deer and all that good stuff. Cool stuff. Hopefully, we'll have a fairly mild first winter, and we can plow through it. And right here, it will give you an idea. Extremely cold temperature, strong breeze. Okay, so this gives you an idea. But now, look, our people are happy. The happier your, your villagers are, the more likely you will be uh, getting babies born and um, um, having... Um, New people come to the uh, village. That's your desirability, basically. All right, now this deal here, I'm going to reset it to cover this area here. So you can see down, see the chart at the bottom? It tells you what you're grabbing in that space. I'm going to eventually build a second one over here. We'll get herbs. We need herbs. But right now, we just want to make sure we have plenty of food. All right. Uh, we can actually shift it over just a little bit more to here, and we capture eggs and nuts. D's nuts. All right. And that's how this works. So now let's start looking at our storage situation. We want to put in a root cellar. All right. Use the tab key. We'll turn that. And we'll just put this right here. Boom. And then we want to build a storehouse, which is your Walmart. And uh, we're going to rotate that that way. And I think what, we'll, so one, two, three, four, four, da, 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 mm, bip, bip, let's go that way. Hooray, and now we're into year two. Do, 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 do. So, you guys want to see more? Ah, 
Six people have arrived. They plan to uh, immigrate. So see, you can accept or turn them away. And this is something I think would be nice about if they implemented into uh, medieval dynasty. When you go to the hobo camps or people just wander into your village, travelers come through your village and say, hey, we're looking for a place to stay or live. Can you take us? So maybe there's a couple. Maybe there's a couple with a child. Maybe there's a, just a, a, a single person. Maybe it's a couple where the woman is with child. Maybe there's two families or three families. And it depends on the housing you have available. Right? That makes sense? And then you can grow your village that way. But the numbers uh, here on Farthest Frontier uh, run geometrically higher than in Medieval Dynasty. So here, to grow the village, boom, we've got housing for them. We've got housing for 24 people. Accept. And then they just poof. Because they, they, you'll see them because they come trotting in from some random direction and they come check in at your, your village center. All right, so now dude's butchering meat. This is good. Now we got three months worth of food and one month of store. Uh, that, and some's going to go bad in a month. Now we've got all three of our basic uh, storage buildings. Bustling market with yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay, so then we can start getting gold in. All right, so let's pause for station identification. Hi, Lee. Welcome aboard. Um, let's look and see amenities and services is where you'll find the market. Okay. But we've got to have a saw pit first. Okay. So then we got to go to resources and it tells you where to find all this stuff. We got to build a saw pit. We can build a tannery. And then once we get the saw pit, then we can also build the cobbler shop. Excuse me. As opposed to the, you know. Fletcher building where Fletch works and the basket shop, but you got to have straw for that coming in. That's going to be a trick. And then the compost yard we'll get around to. So right now we're going to look at this. Now, see the red area around it? Now, see the house? See the houses, how they show a desirability percentage? That's two things are affecting that at present. One is their proximity to the town center. Two is their proximity to the well. Notice the one that is closest to the well and closest to the town center has a 12% desirability, as does the one across from it, okay? Now, notice as this saw pit, as I get closer, see the desirability drop to negative 11? That's how these work, is you get them close and they will kill the desirability of houses. You need houses to be desirable. So, what you do then is in your planning, is you build industrial buildings away from residential. So you do industrial side, residential side. Okay, that makes sense? Good. All right, so we got firewood there. I don't think we want, uh, da, 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 that's where the wall's gonna go. Um, so this will put it outside the wall. That's fine. That's a good area. We'll put it right there. All right, cool. All right, go resume. And then what else do we have? We have the tannery, which is going to be important. So the tannery is another nasty building. See, the desirability, desirability is going way down. With the saw pit, it was only going down to negative 11. This is going to negative freaking to the bottom of the septic tank. Dread, what's happening? Medieval trolls, you screwed me. Hello. Two days on your medieval trolls. Oh, well, you'll be okay. All right. So the tannery, we're going to put out here. And we're going to put it, let's see. I'm going to face this way. And we're going to put it right there. And then we're going to put a street or road right here now 
Now this has so oh shoot, I forgot. It's spring. Alright, we gotta get the forager shack up and going. Alright, so now we got 19 out of 24 housing slots filled, so we can start looking at building a couple more houses too. And then alright, so like right here. This house will not require anything but just to build it. If you build it, they will come, right? So we build that. Now here, we've got to cut down trees and eat our lunch. Here, we won't have to do that either, okay? We're keeping those two center tiles open. So we're going to put a house here. And a house Two center tiles are open, so that's that house. There's that house. Okay. And then we're going to put a road that goes here. And then we're going to do a road that runs out here. Now, you can send people out to explore. That's what this little flag thing is here, exploration points. So if we click this, you just drop a flag. Right? And then somebody will go out there and check out what's going on and that will open up it will it will push back the fog of war as it's typically called. All right? So now our forager has a ton of stuff they can go gather. This is great. So our food, we're showing 3 months with no spoilage. Okay, 4 and 1. Uh-oh, pause. Let's see who's getting attacked where. Oh, that's no good. Oh, it's a boar. Oh, that's boring. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and actually... Oh, our villager, they're okay. Let's see, hopefully they're going to move faster than the boar do. Predators are attacking. I get you, I get you. I just, I'm not seeing it. Wait, where, hello? Hello? Well, he just found a big old thing of deer over here. Dude, bruh. Okay, there. He's now here. Here's so there he's tagged in. So we know we've got boar over here. So what we're going to need to look at then is, and that's where the issue is occurring, is boars being a pain in the ass over here. All right, as long as nobody dies, we're okay. We got a house complete, so we're up to 28. All right, so now, when we get to <clears throat> when we get to 30 people, eight houses, okay, we're about to get a, 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 an eighth one built, and a market. So then we're going to be able to push this up to tier two. Now, right here, we don't have anybody. They're wandering. All right, so what we're going to do is actually uh, drop this down and... Oh, she's stalking the saw pit. So that's okay. We, you take one person out of the saw pit. You can put up to six. But we don't want them burning through all of our logs. Now, what we do have is firewood. We got two people in the firewood. Boink. Let's get one of them out of there. We could actually cut it off if we wanted to because we got tons of firewood at this point. But what we want to do is make sure that we have a continuous inflow. Nightly. Thanks for stopping by. Hope your car stays nice and it's clean since it's raining in the area all right so now we've got several things going on what we want to do is upgrade to tier two though all right we got logs coming in we're going to need that for building we got planks okay we have food temperatures are good now here's something i'm going to go ahead and look at doing we want to look at our first farm field farm fields are a pain in the ass in that they take time to develop. And so in doing that, let me see, F is fertility, yes, oh geez. Of course we built the houses right in the most fertile part of the map. What an idiot, I didn't think to look at that. Because otherwise we should have put them up here. Should have put the, the town center up this way. All right, but that's okay, we'll be all right. There's, there's fertile room down here, super fertile even though we're not going that direction. I mean, we are, but we're going that way with the housing. Mm. Oops. So, a couple ways to do it. Now, there's really good fertile ground over here as well. All right. 
so we can do a couple of things here. Looks like this goes, let's go out like this. Okay, we'll run that out there. And then I'm going to run so far away. I'm going to go this way with this road. Now there's a clay pit out there, but that's all good. So we go to building menu, go to food production, and here's your farm fields, crop fields. So we're not going to be using a fishing shack because we got no fish shack. We got no love shack. We're screwed. So we're going to do farm fields. Now, the bigger the field, the more people it takes. See the environmental fertility factor 100%? See over here, it's 30%. 100%, 30%. The, and then it tells you the soil mixture of clay and sand. See how it's moving? Now that's sandier soil. This is more clay soil over here. Of course, clay maintains water better. Always leave a tile around your fields for a, uh, this is Farthest Frontier. It is a, it's a medieval city builder. This is the game I've been talking about for a while that there are elements to this game I want to see implemented into uh, Medieval Dynasty. So yeah, it, it's, a, it's a fantastic game. I highly recommend it. What we want to do here is leave one tile around the fields for the little fencing. This fence here, because if you don't fence around your fields, deer will come in and eat your crops. And then you'll have a reduction in your crop percentage, or your harvest percentage. You may have like a seven, eight, 10, I don't know, it could be a higher level percentage drop, okay? So uh, that's a neat little aspect of the game is, is wildlife will come in and eat your shiz if you don't take care of it. <clears throat> now, I'm also going to plan on building the compost uh, deal out here. And we can, <clears throat> we could put fields here and fertilize them. And we can improve the soil. So that's a good thing. Um, two, three, four. How big's the compost yard? Let me see here. Composting, composting. Is that on the first page or second? Let me see where this is. Compost yard, four by four. Okay. Ah, and I've even written the radiuses down. So the composting yard is a four by four structure. It's a tier, it's a level one structure, four by four tiles. It's a double thumbs down, so two red arrows down with a radius of 10. So you don't want it to be within 10 tiles of residence. Okay. Well, this should cover us because we have residence over here. You know, you're looking at one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, way, yeah, way off. So we could put the compost pit basically right here in this four by four area. And that way it can expedite over to the residential area. You don't want it so far away that the guy's more efficient pushing his wheelbarrow of poo over there if he's closer. You just don't want it to be too close so it stankifies the place up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. All right. The Citadel is going to end over this way too. So we'll probably put him just outside this area. I mean, there's storage. So figure we're going to have a fence here. And a tower here, which means he can go. Do I have him available yet to build? Let me see here. Storage uh, resources. Yes. Okay. So see, there's the red area saying, nope, we don't like this, it's stanky. All right, so relative to here, we do a wall, road. We'll put it right there. But we're gonna disable construction. This is the beauty. It's like, um, um, it's like ghost, the ghost buildings on Medieval Dynasty. You know, you can project where you're gonna build several houses except you have to build the houses, your people don't. On here, your people build the houses or the other buildings, right? Here, you're just managing people. You're not within the game. That's the major difference. That's a role-playing game. This is just management, all right? So uh, 
we're going to put the poop pit here and we disable construction we'll come back later we're going to need 15 planks and 15 logs well we don't have a, quite enough planks and you know it's all good so this is reference for our fields so we're going to go back to food pro food production field skip a skip one tile away from the road because that's where the fence is going to go i'm not sure what this does if uh baker were still here he could tell us because i haven't or brian black excuse me um he could tell us i haven't w worked with that yet so leave a tile between the road and your field and we're gonna leave a couple tiles between this over here too so we'll start right here and we're going to go i think i do five by ten there is a minimum field size now see how it says so four by four four by five doesn't work five by five is the smallest field you can have you can't even do four tiles wide you gotta do five by five now see it tells you the number of workers you're going to need it tells you the fertility it tells you the yield and the soil now the issue is we don't have sand we're going to need to balance the sand into the the field at some point depending on what crops we choose i'm going to go 10 by 5. i don't want to get into those bushes over there and that actually works out perfect right there all right and that field should be the right size for two to three people and then what we do again you can control when building takes place we're going to set up 10 by 5 Oh, that's five workers? Hmm. Seven by five, eight by five. Yeah, I think I only want seven by five. We're going to do seven by five to start with. I don't want all my people involved over here. Uh, so we're actually going to, so here you go and hit this and demol demolish. Boom. All right, one more time. Again, it's been a minute since I've done this, so. So yeah, there's that. It's a one, two, three, four, because we need a tile around it. So we've got to go five wide. We're going to go seven by five fields. So there's a maximum of, of three workers. And yeah, so we're going to do one, two, pay attention kids, this is important, three. Three identical size fields. Disable construction. Disable construction. We'll have this one going. Now, here is where we go into roads and fences. And we're going to put a gate into each field. All right. So the field's five wide, right? One, two, three, boom. Gate. And I'm not going to put gates between the fields. <gasps> I need to put gates between the fields. Shoot, I forgot about that. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna explain why here in just a second. Let me just take this out and we'll redo it. You want one tile between your fields. You don't have to build a fence there if you build a fence around the entire perimeter. Why do you need a tile between the fields, A-Train? What are the three things I talk about that this has that medieval dynasty does not? Pestilence is one. Filth is another. Disease. Not only do you have human disease, you have plant disease. So your plants can get diseased and then it reduces your crop output. So to minimize that, you put a gap between the fields. Because if this one has, say, um, beans growing or peas and you get whatever disease mold on the peas, okay, if you have another field of peas right next to it, the disease can spread. So if you create a gap, it minimizes the chance that that can spread. There we go. So now we've done that. So now we go back to our roads and fencing, and this is going to be to keep the, uh, the deer out from eating our stuff. All right. One, two, three. Got that there. Okay. So there's the gap. One, two, three. There. I mean, and we could just put the gate... Uh, Eh, okay. Let's do that. Let's let's do it this way. We're gonna put the uh, the fence, the gates between the fields. Okay. So there's field. 
There's no field. So we need a gate here. One, two, three, four, five. That's field, which means there is the next gate. Boom. Okay? Simple. Now we'll build fence. And the cool part about the fences here is if I try to drag it in the field, it won't build. But if I get to the end of the field, and see there's another field, ooh, there's a clay pit there. Wait, we shouldn't be in the clay pit. What? Oh, that's right, because it's got to go one, two, three, four, five. There. We'll, we'll build a deal over by the clay pit. It won't hurt. I don't think it'll hurt. Okay, this tells me where the end of the field is. See, there's red where the farm field is, and it's green at the end. So now we reset, and now we know we're good. We're to the back end of it. So now we hit that, and then we can come down here like this. There's still field, still field, still field. Now we don't... And if you look closely, you can see the little rope things here marking off the construction site, okay? So now we just come all the way over here, boom, and then go to the gate, boom, and then build between the two gates, boom. All right, cool. So we're going to turn construction off of this field. We're going to turn construction off of this field, okay? And what we'll do is, actually, we'll turn construction off of this field. We have predators attacking issue over here. Uh, oh, I see where the boar are. They're out here where our hunter's uh, working. We may have to deal with that. We may have to move our hunter or build a second hunting lodge. In fact, I think we're going to do that. Now, you can move buildings, too. So you click on this building, right? See up here, you can salvage the building, or you can relocate building location, which sounds like Department of Redundancy Department to me. It should just say move building, <laughs> okay? But you could move the building if you want. And at times, you may have to do that because maybe you run the deer out, and you have to move the deer. I mean, you have to move the building to facilitate you know, dealing with the deer. The other thing we could look at doing is building a watchtower down here and putting someone in it to, uh, to kill the boar. Because we do have, well, that's deer. The boar is right here. So what we need to do is get a couple people together to go kill the boar. I think what we'll do is build a second uh, hunter cabin. I don't necessarily, uh, you know what? Yeah, it can actually should go right here. I'm going to put it right here. So again, it's a gap away in case there's a fire at the smokehouse, okay? And it's close to this deer spawn here. But once we get that second hunter, then that should be enough firepower, I think. I think being the operative word and scary at that. Um, that they should be able to go take out the boar. And once you kill all of them, it should get received. There's only one, uh, there's two of them. And they may attack the hunters, or the hunters may jack their style, too. All right? So, things are looking okay. I, in fact, we should... Um, now, what's this little thing mean? Food loss to spoilage, 74 berries. Oh, oops. We don't want food stored here. Turn that off. Okay? That all needs to be moved to here, to the root cellar. So, that kind of sucks. Um, hopefully this person can get over here and gather stuff over the course of the autumn here and recover some of that lost, okay? So see, we've got all this in their area here. They've got stuff in storage. So that's good. Uh, we've got way too many, way too much firewood again. Put a pause on that. What we need is more logs. Okay. So 
what I think we're going to do is, oh, new villager. All right, harvest resources. Turn on, well, yeah, we're, no, we'll turn on stone. Let's keep that coming in. We're just going to, boom. Cover that. Age of Mythology? Oh, I never played that. Now, notice, even though I turned off construction, they're over here gathering resources, and they're clearing out the fields. They're preparing it for construction. Okay? This is the only one. We don't have construction enabled here, but they're still going to clear out stuff, and they're building uh, the fencing around the area. Okay? I'm actually going to prioritize that site there because that's stone. And that rock is prioritized as well. So going into next year, they won't work in the fields during the winter. But going into next year, we'll have them start developing this. And we'll get these fields ready. And then what we do is you have identical size fields. You have three of them. What do we not have on Medieval Dynasty that we would like to have when it comes to farming? Farming cycles. That's right, boys and girls. You set a three-year farming cycle schedule for your fields on this game. So you set up crop rotation over the course. So what we'll do is, let me get the handy-dandy notebook again. Okay. And so I have a couple of different schedules. For field A, year one. Okay, now this is of the cycle. It's not how it's going to be year one when we build the field. Your first year, you basically do just maintenance and clover to help increase the, increase the fertility and um, get rid of stones in the field, which increases your yield, all right? So for year, for A, you'll have peas, maintenance, and clover. For B, you'll have clover and wheat. And for C, you'll have clover and cabbage. Now, clover is a ground cover, and it gets tilled into the soil to increase the fertility of the field. Wheat really drains the soil of fertility. So does cabbage, but not as bad as wheat. But peas and clover add to the fertility. Peas and beans add to fertility. Everything else basically takes away from it, except clover. So you have to, you see what I'm saying? You have to have crop rotation. All right, now, this guy should be idling, unable to work. Boom, get out of here, go home, go cut down trees and do something useful. And we're showing some food loss to spoilage here, which sucks, but we've got food in storage. You see these barrels here? That's eventually when you build the cooper. That's what you get. All right. Now, this guy, firewood splitter, we don't have them working right now. And that's fine. We just need to keep an eye on that. Now, this one, stalking the saw pit. Okay, she's got, uh, she's missing logs. So we're actually going to have her take her out of there. Now, the tannery, this is a different story. This is important because what they do is they take animal hides plus water and they make hide coats. And your people need those when the winter sets in and it gets butt-ass cold. Okay. All right, we got a new villager. Hooray. And we got the fencing almost done around the field here, which will be great. That, that'll just put us ahead of the game. Um when we're ready to actually start building the fields out okay now this here has a different symbol these are the same so we've halted work that's what the hand you know, stop the hand the halted due to winter but in this case there's an obstruction and that's this rock here that the guy's digging up okay now we got all that going on let's look at our Next tier, tier two, we need 60 wood planks. So we're going to have to get some planks going, but we need logs brought in. So we got to get people working on the log situation. And then that will get us moving towards um, the planks we need. And rolling with the tide there. So you can see rota crop rotation, crop schedules composting to get rid of the poo okay 
it's cute that they have built you know privies in the oxbow you can build a privy but it doesn't matter because poo is not a factor waste is a factor in this game disease is a factor in this game pestilence will eventually be a factor in this game uh where you have rats it, it, or going into your uh root cellars and your storage buildings okay and you have to put a rat key uh, rat catcher and they get paid to go out and catch the rats imagine that so now let's see if we can do decorations yet we can do some decorations but we need gold for these things now you can plant trees which is great and you can have a garden trail but that takes gold what we need to do is start getting some gold coming in and that takes level two here we gotta have 60 planks to have 60 planks we're gonna need this actually open back up all right do we want to do one more year what do you guys think we want to stop here at year three beginning of year three or do we want to press through this year so this game you don't conquer this game you do defend though we are going to have to deal with bad guys there's bad guys up here and over here and down here we're gonna have to deal with raids eventually after about year eight okay but uh yeah for this game it's cool that uh you don't have to do all that you don't you don't do the conquer thing you just build the village and then you can play in pacifist mode and that takes out the uh the boars the bears and the the wolves oh my and the raiders okay now we got our second um, hunter shack. Baby hunter shack. Hunt shack. Baby hunt shack. Ah, here's here's something we need in Medieval Dynasty. Tallow. And actually, it is in the game. Because if you remember, there's a mission you have to do. Uh, I think it was out of Skunky when I did it. But you had to go and you had to get um, badger tallow, which is animal fat. For some lady to make medicine or do something with right you guys remember this mission okay well in here tallow is used to make soap tallow and herbs are used to make soap so to me that's kind of important hmm they have soap in medieval dynasty they have tallow in it you just don't ever see it unless you're doing that particular mission right all right Let's do another year. Okay. Um, I, I'm not, I, you know what? You enjoy your motorcycles. I'm not a motorcycle guy. I, 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 I can like, I can watch supercross racing or road racing and that's cool and neat in the neat and cool sort of way. Um, we're going to enable construction over here, but I am not, when it's me versus the pavement, I'm I know who's going to win that every time, and it ain't me. All right, so now we're going to get uh, Lula, 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 and she can go work on that. Now, we're not going to do the compost yard yet because I think that requires a, uh, I think it requires uh, gold. You got to pay the guy that runs that. So we, we've got room for 10 more people. Let's go ahead and set up for one more house. And that'll be here. Because you can have a dozen people show up and want to join your village. And then you just got to build fast. <laughs> build faster. Get hit less. Turn the priority on there. All right. What else can we build? Housing, amenity, and services. Okay. We do not have a graveyard yet. Fortunately, we haven't lost anybody yet. Knock on wood. Okay. And then you have shrines. Shrines. Now, look what happens when I see see the desirability of the houses. Okay, going up. They're moving on up, moving on up to the sky, moving on up. All right. And what we're going to be able to do is put this over here and drive up the desirability of the homes in the area. We'll actually probably put it more like here. And I'll put a house here, here, and here. Okay, 
and then we'll probably put a well over here with it. Does that make sense? So you put these in, and because you got to get to a certain desirability for the house can upgrade. See, desirability. Hmm, funny how it pulled that up when we just started talking about it. You can enable and disable tutorials here, okay? So it impacts uh, what it does, okay? So right here is your desirability bar, and this shows where we're at. We're at 10%. We need to get up here for Tier 2, and you can see what the factors are. Town center, 6%. Basic wall, 4%. Okay? But if we click on this house, desirability is 12% because it's closer to both the well and the town center. Proximity is key. Okay? And then you can see what all they have in storage. They got waste. Hmm. And we do not need anyone getting sick because we don't have an herbalist hut or anything. So we are moving up we, what we need here. Unfortunately, labor shortage. Okay. Okay, now. Your village is low on labors. Okay, so now, that's off. This is your crop field rotation. We are not going to do anything with this. Okay. All right. Oh, somebody getting attacked. That's it. Everybody go, go bust that ass. Dude, if you'd stop. Dude, if you would stop running, bust that ass. Candy ass. Now, look at this. Boom, dead. See how easy that was? You just got to stop. Take a hit for the team, and the team will take care of you. Very simple. All right, so now, look. They've cleared out all this stuff here. See, wandering, unable to work. So now I've got to move her back over here. This is the only thing about this that's kind of a pain in the ass. All right, so move that back over there, and now she'll go clear all this stuff. So you kind of have to micromanage that, and that's a little bit annoying. These people need water. Oh, no, we got dysentery. All right. So now, click on this, and this tells you what you got. Okay? Erwalt has been stricken with dysentery. Dysentery is an intestinal infection that can cause vomiting and diarrhea. When you have heartburn, nausea, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea, don't take Pepto-Bismol. All right? Drink a bunch of water and take a modium. Only one. Villagers left without clean water sources are susceptible to death from dehydration. Because Mama said that dehydration is the devil. All right. So now we can zoom in on where he is. Erwalt's over here. So we can correct this by going to uh, resources and building a well. And we'll build a well over in this area. And that will make life easier for these guys too. You don't want your wells too close together. They'll actually start taxing the same basic you know, space. All right, we're actually going to put the well right here. It's fifty-one percent, but that that's all that's all good, all right? So basically, all we need to do is get that dude some uh, some stuffs. So he'll be okay. Now, missing ranged ammunition that makes life tough on our, tougher on our hunters. Oh, a Fletcher building. Hmm. Okay, we need to build a Fletcher building. Uh, notice there is no negative impact on. The housing so we can actually put the Fletcher building within the Citadel okay and boom and that's going to eat up unfortunately 20 of our planks but we need the range in ammunition okay so our dude's sick we can get the well the thing is when he's over here at the house he'll be okay so you click on that, and it'll tell you what people are doing. Who's this? You're wandering, unable to work. And they're stocking, and they're tanning hides. We got a bunch of hides storing up, which is great. Let's see if we got any in Walmart. We don't have any in Walmart yet. So they haven't moved them over there yet. Otherwise, you would see them here-ish. Maybe. I think. There's clothing. Yeah, there's hides right there. But you turn off food because food will spoil quicker. It's got to be in the root cellar. Okay. This dude, uh, though, see, we can see that he's sick. All right. He's over at work, though, right now. And then you can mouse over and see what they've got. Oh, that's just wrong, dude. It's like luggage. Never get rid of that shit. Uh, okay. So the crop field. See how this is? Now, we're not going to do this yet because I don't want anybody messing with it. 
soil mixture for crops selected. So here's what happens. You click to add crops. You get your uh, crop information. There's the yield, frost tolerance, heat tolerance, drought tolerance, rocky resilience. Okay. Then how much it suppresses weeds, the growth time, how much it impacts fertility and fertility dependence. All right. So um, beans and peas add to fertility. Turnips take away. Carrots take away. Uh, flax takes away. Wheat really takes away. That's like minus six. See how the impacts fertility, the second the bottom column? It really relies on fertility, but it really kicks the crap out of fertility. Okay? Whereas if you go look here, beans are a plus one to fertility. Peas are plus two, I think. Oh, they're only plus one. Ooh, they nerfed that. Uh-oh, that means that I may have to change up my... All right, so let's see if I did this schedule. It's peas, maintenance, clover. So that's plus one. Clover, which is right here, is plus three. So that's a plus four in year one. Then turnips and beans. Turnips are minus two. So then we're at a minus, we're at a plus two, but beans are plus one, so we're at a plus three. Then we do clover in year three. That's a plus three, so we're at plus six. And then rye, I think, is minus four. It's minus five. So over the cycle, the three-year cycle, you're at a net plus one of fertility with that schedule. And with this other schedule I have, peas maintenance clover is going to give you a plus four. Then you have another uh, round of clover, which takes you to a plus seven. Wheat is minus six. Minus, yeah. So then you're down to a plus one. You do another round of clover, so you're at plus four. Then you do cabbage, which is minus four, and that's a zero percent boom. Okay? So then that is a balanced growth regimen over the three-year cycle. Does that make sense? You're adding in as much fertility as you're taking away from, with various crops and stuff. So what you do is you do the year one schedule, the year two schedule, and the year three schedule. Okay? And you always start by doing field maintenance and clover to improve the fertility and reduce the rockiness. You got the, the maintenance reduces the weed level and rockiness. And then you add in the clover and that brings the fertility up. Now, if you've got access to sand and what have you, if I click on this, see it, it's, it's here. Okay. There's the estimated yield. All right. But we're going to clear it. So if we instead do um, cabbage, see, so you can see the window here. It's a little bit to the clay side. This is where the soil currently is. If the line is here, that's going to maximize the uh, field pH to give you the highest level of uh, soil bonus. Okay, Does that makes sense. See, 262 of 462. All right. Then let's say buckwheat, damn it. Oh, it's Gumby, damn it. Uh, carrots. Carrots like sandy soil. They have a wide range they can work within. So what you can try to do is find crops that have a range and then say you can put the field like here. Right? You see what I'm saying? And that way you're within the range of multiple crops. See, these go together well. Carrots, if you look at putting the line right here under the O for four, then you're in the green for carrots and rye. Green is good. Okay. It's not, it, 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 I mean, it, it tells you everything you need to know, though. It's not a ton to remember. You don't have to remember any of it. You just have to look at it. Okay. So if we want to do anything to this field, like we'd want to put maintenance, and then you can drag it across here because we're already this far through the season. So you could put in maintenance, and then you could put in clover. Problem is you can't drag it past there. So you put clover at the end of the season, then drop maintenance in, and then you can move it up against it. 
guy. But I'm going to take that out because we're not going to fuss with this right now. We're going to, we're, we're, we're good on food. We don't need the fields going yet. Okay. What I want to do is focus on bringing in logs so that we can get the critical structures built, get upgraded to tier two here, start getting tax revenue in and get the market built. That's our focus. And the market's going to go down here. Did I F this up? Son of a... I think I effed it up. No, I didn't. I just, I have it rotated a different direction. Okay, no worries. New villagers immigrated. Hooray. Oh, a new villager, excuse me. And one was born. That's good too. So eventually what you'll do is you can build a school. All right, sweet. Now we got a Fletcher. We needed this. Okay, Fletcher's got to have logs. And unfortunately, we don't have any logs right now. So what we'll do is we'll actually increase his production ratio. So we'll do one bow. And then he'll do like three things of arrows. Okay. Harvest resources. Um, and there's all kinds of different trees in here. There's a thicket, which only, see, it tells you how much it yields log wise otherwise you'll have a tree like this birch tree will give you seven logs hmm now this tree is a maple tree it'll only give you two hmm funny how that works okay the villager has died oh that sucks now here's the question where did the villager die okay the dude died okay he died of disease so, we're going to need to get rid of his body. Is that a bear? Yeah, they just killed a bear. <laughs> Bitch. That's what you get. All right. So, now we're going to have to look at a cemetery. Eh, it's no fun, but it is a part of the deal. Not a part of Medieval Dynasty. Just saying it would be good to have. Um, the question is, where do we want to put it? And the answer is probably um, you can move them eventually. Let's get a little bit of exploration going here. Okay. And I think we'll probably put the cemetery like here. And the size of the cemetery matters. Uh, let's go to amenities and services. And we want to put this in a way in a position that uh, hopefully, unfortunately, we're going to have to clear out some trees. I don't really want to have to clear out trees if I can avoid it, though. This, I think, is going to be too close to the village, too residential. Uh, we could do something smaller over here. could do something right here what is that oh it's like a thicket okay so you can see there's there's some decision making stuff you have to do here and planning things out um, this is infertile ground so this might be a good place for a stick up and now see if I go there we have to Okay, we're going to prioritize that. Okay, cool. Oh, man. Sorry to hear about your dog, dude. All 
All right, so we just need to get five stone over there. We'll get the cemetery because ultimately what happens is you got to get that body out of there or it will cause disease. Now, nobody's really going over there right now, although someone has taken over the position. Uh, we'll have her move out kind of this way, I think. A little bit like that. We'll have this guy focus out a little bit more like this. And then we're going to look to take out the boar. All right, so hopefully someone's going to get over there and fix this. Now, here's the thing. Uh, T, is it? No, G. Nope, that's desirability. F is fertility. R is, uh, what we need is this, professions. See, we have zero people for builders, resources, we have two of two, okay? You got to watch uh, your laborers. We got no laborers currently av available. We got one person working in fletching, two in the tanners, two hunters, one smoker, one forager, nine farmers. We should not have nine farmers. That's a problem. We just got three new villagers, so that's great. Uh, okay, so what's the... There it is, P. Bring out your dead! That's what we're working on. There's the problem. I know. We got we got one. I think it's thinking I've got I need farmers. What? I is water. P is professions. All right, farmer. Now it's showing six of six. Okay, so we want. Oh, so. That's what's that's what the problem is, is right now these fields are showing. Uh, fine, enable construction. Let's get the field built. And see, here's what's going on. See your builders. It takes time for them to do what they got to do. Make sense? So this is basically how many man hours or labor, you know, has to be used to do a particular job. Like this is going to take 1,632 labor to prepare this field, okay? Which is going to eat up a lot of our labor, and that sucks. But uh, people will be in and out of the fields here in just a minute, in and out of the fields. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. That, that's funny. Yeah. Oh. A raid camp has attacked our villagers. All right, we found the raid camp. All right. This is not good. This is bad. So our dude is coming back. Now, the problem is he's probably going to bring company with him. So here is what we're going to need to do. Bad guys like to use roads. So here's what I like to do. Give them a reason not to come down the road. Uh, we're going to put a lookout tower. Let's see. That should be inside the citadel. Now that's unfortunately going to take gold ingots that we do not have. So I'm hoping this guy isn't getting followed. Hoping. Yeah, nice job getting explore, exploration done. Now we found the bad guy camp. Now, once you build up a, um, a dealio barracks, you can launch a raid and go down there and kick that ass. But that's going to take a bit. We got to get to level two first, and we ain't even to level two yet. Kind of dragging our feet here, getting stuff uh, going. Uh, let's pick up the pace here a little bit. All right, good. Get out of the field, people. Go. Let me get this graveyard built, and that's, uh, that problem will be solved, and then we can haul off this dead body. 
Also, here's the well that we couldn't get built. Now we're getting that built, which would have solved his dysentery problem. But now we're good to go. Okay. And now the graveyard is about to be complete. Do -do -do -do. Nice. Okay. And then someone's going to come over with like a wheelbarrow and they'll pick up this deceased villager and tote him off. Yeah, see? Well, I don't know if that's what he's doing, but he may be hauling. Oh, no, he's hauling supplies. See, people are hauling supplies around with wheelbarrows. What a novel concept. <laughs> is, that, is that 50 logs in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? That's the medieval dynasty way. On here, no, you can put three to four logs into a wheelbarrow. So we're going to haul that body off. There you go. Thank you. All right. It's getting cold. New village was born good. If this turns to big white snowflake, that's bad. That's very bad. Everybody will be running for home. And we have no logs. We have firewood. We have no logs. We've got to get to 60 um, planks. So we can upgrade. We have eight houses. Oh, we don't have 30 villagers yet. Well, one of them dying didn't help. That sucks. This is actually kind of a spread out village for me starting. But also, I'm not used to... I could have done the map thing before launching into the game and turn the stream... I mean, not before turn launch. Yeah, turn the stream on. Launch into the game. You gotta launch into the game to do the map thing, doofus. Do. Um... But, um, see, maple tree, 10, maple tree, 6, birch tree, 7, birch tree, 7, maple tree, 2. See how that works? Bigger the tree, the older the tree, the more logs you get out of it. Are we going to do one more year? We want to do one more year? So basically, a year takes, I don't know, where are we at on the video? Uh, we're an hour and 52 to uh, an hour, an hour and 52 to two to two because kick a can't coming to kick a kill me uh, It's 30 to 45 minutes per year depending on if you what what speed you play if you play like one time speed It's probably gonna be about 45 minutes to an hour because you you'll pause and you work on stuff and whatever Okay Yeah, I could. Yeah. Okay, crop field has an empty rotation. That's fine. We don't care. All right, year number four. We're going to do one more year? It's 8 o'clock. Hmm. Um, oh, man, I did not take the part. Oh, an idiot. Oops. Screwed the pooch on that. Wasn't paying attention. Um, let them come over here and clear this area first. They're going to work in this field. So one more year. All right, let's roll it. We'll do two times speed. Roll tide through this. Uh-oh. Ah, what did I tell you guys? Huh? The biggest threat to catch on fire early game is going to be the smokehouse. Now we have a convenient well. Where is it? Built right across from the smokehouse. So now if you click on it, you see building on fire, and you'll see the, the status of the building. And yeah, it's, it's taking damage, but now the bucket brigade's coming along, and now they've taken care of it. So structural integrity is 89%. That'll get fixed along the way. No big deal. All good. Everyone, get back to work. Yeah, that's right. Whip it out and pee on it. If your smoke glass is on fire, you can piss it. Friends get stung by jellyfish. Just piss on them. Stuff like that. Okay, how are we doing on planks? We're at 30. We still have no logs. Uh, firewood 
we're gonna have to crank firewood production back up here at some point so we need trees oh that's just thickets i think new villagers born hooray all right that gets we need one more so we could use a we could use you know five or six people showing up right about now that'd be terrific three to five people would be fantastic a couple people want to move in we got housing available we got good food too look we got eight months of food I need to get these doofuses out of this field. What I'm going to have to have them do is prepare this field. And then, see we're showing six of six, six farmers still. We've got two Sawyers though. Tom and whatever the other one's name is. All right, we've got some logs. Logs are good. Now you can zoom in and see. It's pretty. Look at the detail. I mean, it's just it's fantastic. These are log houses with thatch roofs. So these would be a one and a half, tier one and a half house by uh, medieval dynasty terms. If you do wattle walls and a thatch roof, that's a tier one house. You do log walls and a uh, wood roof. It's tier two. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful game. All right, let's get these idiots working here. And then here, no, we are going to take them out. Okay, that's going to free up three people back into labor force we just gotta get this other field prepped and then we can send people in at our leisure starting year one we'll process this field and then year two started on its first year of the cycle so that'll be year a b c then we next year we do this field so you'll have by the time the fourth year or so is going this will be on a b c the next year a c b am i making sense here three fields equal size same schedule for all three fields boom efficiency with crop rotation then you know exactly what you're going to get year after year all right i think the doofus over here shelter stocking which means she probably has run out of stuff to collect so go collect Go forage. And then let's do this and do this. I don't want to go too far over there because I know there's a bad guy camp somewhere. All right. So our defensive tower needs 50 gold bars. So now we're just going to put the stop, the kibosh on that. And, oh, we got 44. Come on. All right. Now we got people coming in. So wait. Uh, we still don't have 30 people. We need a baby. Somebody get busy. Doing a Find your coworker and do a Fanny Willis. Wait, what? Yes, here we are. All right, so now we got the, we got, oh, Two new villagers were born. Some people did do. That's good. All right, let's click on this. So you've got a storage limit here. Okay. So you got to monitor this a little bit. We're 48. As soon as we hit 60 planks, then we're cooking. Now will get us up to level two. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, we're going to need another house here soon, too. We're at 50 planks. I think we can go ahead and allocate uh, resources to another house. So we're going to do here, 
So I have two more houses. So that's 20 logs. Yeah, we got plenty. We're good. We should be up to uh, as soon as. So we can add more people. Predators are attacking. Uh, just don't get killed. Don't don't get dead. What's going on? Oh, it's a wolf. Who do we have? How many starships do we, do we have? Any starships in the area? There's a couple of people. Turn in on the fight. Got it. That's how you do that. And everybody, oh, nope, 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 disregard. Go, go back to what you were doing. Uh, four people initially. The shelter holds four. When you upgrade it to the next level house, that goes up to five. And then I think when you get up to like the tier three or four house, it goes up to six. Because the, the next level adds like a second story and like an outhouse and stuff like that. It's really cool. I mean, look at this, guys. Is that not, a, is that not pretty? It's a pretty game. It's a lot of cool detail stuff to it. I mean, we have to build this in Medieval Dynasty, right? Look, there's a wash tub. There's crates. There's wicker crates, you know, with food. Oh, here's a Here's a medium crate or a large crate, right? You see what I'm saying? You have to put out clothing lines or whatever. That's included here. It's not just, you know, for your health. All right, we're good. No, we're not. We need freaking... Come on! We need six more planks, people. Let's go. I'm going to have to kick up the... Uh, I'm going to have to enable the building here, too. You want to make sure your firewood production's kicking in midsummer into autumn. You don't want to be behind the eight ball when you get to winter. Okay. 56. We need four more planks, people. Planks for the memories. I'm going to put the road here. And you can do curved roads on this, too. There's two more. Come on, two more. Can I get an upgrade? Upgrade. We got, okay, we got the stone for it. Come on. We got the stones for it. Then we start bringing in uh, some and we unlock a bunch of other buildings and then we get um, the uh, trader post trading post come on so see here it's there it's a sawmill to make your planks and it's a separate building makes your firewood now they've got... Oh, there we go. We're up. Wait, what happened? Oh, we don't have a market. Oh, fudge. Oh, no. We suck again. Um, crap. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This is going to eat 50 of those planks, too. Damn it. All right, so here's what you got to do is you want this to encompass as much of your housing as possible. Now, there is a way to upgrade it to a tier two market, okay? And doing so expands its uh, radius of influence by like two tiles. So see the houses at the top that say 12% desirability of this house here? Watch that, okay? So there it's in and now it's out right everything else is in except that this one over here and we want as many houses to be in the the radius as possible however at the same time uh you don't want this radius to encompass stuff that it's not going to help q what's happening how are you Q's in the house. All right. So you see what I'm saying? We could we could build the market all the way up here. Right? Let me do it over to this side. All right. See how the house is on the... Well, let's do it on this side. There's roads not in the way. See how the houses to the right are not in the desirability? 
and then if we move back a little bit it's not okay but there it is right the key here is I don't want a bunch of this yellow line encompassing space up where the ox cart is towards the town center first off the houses up that way are already benefiting from being in close proximity to the town center right so if we hit this and we click on this house here right this is our most desirable house this one and this one okay 12 percent desirability because they're getting a seven percent bump from the town center and five percent from the basic well that's right next to them we're going to be building park stuff down through the middle which is going to raise it for these houses as well okay i i still don't feel like something's right nope it is it's just i didn't turn this the right direction with these no big deal okay so and so if you understand what i'm saying here is if i pull this back one tile everything's still encompassed if i pull it back two tiles we lose desire we don't get the buff on this house to the upper right but that's okay if we go back to this one we only lose we're only going to lose a little bit when the when we build it but when we upgrade it we're going to get two additional tiles of radius so see what i'm saying if i put it here the house goes from plus it goes up plus five percent the one in the upper right where uh, right above where it says market okay it says 14 percent plus five desirability if i move the market down one it drops back to nine it gets no benefit from the market it's just in a crappy place we're actually going to build a shrine right next to it which is going to help okay so but when the market upgrades to level two then it's going to expand that radius and then it will encompass that house and then that house will get the benefit so what we'll do is we'll look at i mean we could pull down one more tile and we lose the house in the upper left right actually i think we're just going to wind up doing it right here let me see i know i just said all that stuff and and then changed it um you do not have to have roads people will walk through yards and you can build more than one market you just don't want overlap the overlap doesn't give you dual benefit the, the benefits don't stack from overlapping the benefits stack from park space but not from like the market and whatever um which way do i want this to face now there is one more consideration here and that is um that is you want to build a defensive tower next to your market because the raiders will go after the market because stuff is stored there that they will steal okay so you got to keep that in mind and keep a tile available somewhere around that market to build a defensive structure you can build park stuff next to it make it pretty all that but you want one of these towers over by the market all right so let's do this and yeah this is centrally located you know what screw it boom all right and let's get busy because we need to get this built and then we got to get freaking number of planks up at least our number of logs has gone up and we're going to have oh two new immigrants nice see we built those two additional houses that helped so we got a new villager and immigrants so now we're up to 35 people which is awesome so that's two more workers they're about to be done up here which means we're going to be able to clear that out and not have to deal with farmers predators are attacking where is the problem oh it's just a wolf all right, how many people do we have in the area how many people do we have in the area we got some people in the area okay actually meet over here now attack the wolf so i didn't want my villager who was initially oh he died son of a bitch well sorry all right cool this is done so now we're going to take this down to zero 
because again we're ha we have 10 months of food okay and that's not having farms running and not having fishing for that matter all right this is about to be done it needs two more planks so somebody's got to get a wheelbarrow that's probably this guy here he's going over to pick up planks i guess there's not any in here no there's firewood there's no planks the planks are all over here so he he couldn't he had to go all the way to the manufacturer now he'll drag that in and now actually we're going to put a road across like this one two three boom okay cool all right there's the market doo, 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 doo. that's up now we gotta get this back up to 60 planks <laughs> damn it <laughs> All right, our, uh, she's idling. She can go do something else. Make yourself useful. Uh, we are going to need some more firewood, I think. So let's go ahead and add someone in there. Boom. As we come into late fall, we want to keep the production up. And then we just got to get the wood planks number up. So yeah, whereas on Medieval Dynasty... You have woodcutter shed. Here you have a firewood splitter. And you have a saw pit. And the saw pit can use up to six people. All right. Now, the big difference here, if you look at that from a positive, a plus for this game over Medieval Dynasty, is you have a hunting shack, but it can only hold one person, hunter cabin. Now, these are upgradable, and then you'll have a second person, I think. Either that or it upgrades their combat ability and radius. All right. So things to, there are some things that work there. We have cemetery, that works. We have crop rotation, that's great. We have a, a poo patrol for the composting pile, that's great. We have defensive towers, those will eventually come to Medieval Dynasty, I think. But those are probably over a year out of town. Oh, man, that's so awesome. It is awesome. It, it, it's a great game, Q. This is, uh, this is uh, Farthest Frontier. Oh, hello. And here we are. We, need, we have six people arriving. They plan to immigrate. Will we keep them or, or take them or turn them away? We have 34 butts for 44 beds. I think we can take them. Cha-ching! That's awesome. That's what is good. So now, oh, uh, no, damn it. All right, now see how we're at 30 wood planks? And guess what we just got a bunch of? Labor. And look what we have, logs. So now we're going to up the number of people we have working there. I mean, we just got, what, four or six new people? Six. So let's kick this in the ass. We're up to 117 firewood, so we're on a positive curve of firewood. That's increasing. Logs are in stock. Stone is in stock. That's both good. We've got some gold. That's good. And we're actually making 11 gold per month because of the market. Okay? So that's a big deal. Uh, we can tell them to keep uh, food out of the market. And eventually, we're going to have to build a soap uh, building and all that right now our focus is to get this to 60 planks so we can upgrade that upgrade our town center here in Manfringen Sinden nobody's yet men yet to mention what that's from where did I get the name Manfringen Din Sen? Send in. Man friend Jin send in. Where'd I get that name?
You know who we haven't seen in a few days? Although she could be on holiday as Adele. As, as Adele. 32 Ram, you're good. Nope, not Chevy Chase. It is from a movie. Well, folks, we are coming to the end of year. Was this year three or year four? This is year four. All right, three crop fields have empty rotations. So at some point, and it could be now, uh, because we have more people, let's go ahead and start adding in crops in field one. Okay, so first season. You got to get the rockiness and the weed levels down. So we're going to put in maintenance, maintenance, and um, yeah, how about more maintenance? Okay, we're going to assign one worker. So you could do two, you could do up to three, maximum of five. Uh, we'll do two. Okay, so. Do we want to hold here? What was the question? Who has the best butt? Adele, Tay Tay, Jenny, Jenna. Lee was here earlier. Um, the question was, where did I get the name Manfred Jensen Den? When the Shield Maiden was on this afternoon, she live streamed and she actually hooked the brother up with, um, uh, you can do like exclamation point A train and it brings up the link. So it's like a shout out thing. I gotta, I'm gonna have to reload Nightbot and figure all that stuff. Thirty-two gig of RAM is is uh, or thirty yeah thirty-two RAM is good. To start with, if you can upgrade to 64, it's even better. I7 14.7. Wow, nice. From Cinnamon, Mun, Mun, and then Mun. Yeah, so Glenn's out there, uh, but you know, keep in mind it's 2:30 in the morning there. So. Adele would normally be up. What was the question? Best butt. <laughs> yeah, we're still waiting. Stripper poles on back order. Apparently, it's stripper pole season, and I'm at the bottom of the list. All right, I guess we're playing one more year here. Damn it! Let's go. Let's go. We're playing at two times speed, so we'll bust through this. All right, so now we got, all right, so see now it's it's going to start working through the rotation. So now, let me get my handy dandy chart in my notebook. So we're going to do peas, maintenance, and clover for season two. Okay, so we do peas, maintenance, clover, and that's going to help with the weeds, okay? We could use, we, we could, it would help if we've got some sand in here. Taxes got collected. Okay. We're up to 44. So you can see the, the clock is ticking and how we're advancing through the season. Now, season B is clover and wheat. So we click here, we do clover, and then we do wheat. We are not going to do wheat, we're going to do flax. This flax is a minus two on fertility, which is great. Um, it has better frost tolerance than drought tolerance, though. Actually, so we're going to take this out, shift this over, and then we're going to replenish the field at the end. Actually, wait a minute. Let me do the math here. So if this is only minus two, we're going to be at plus four here. So then plus two, plus five, and then season three is clover and cabbage, which is minus four. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah, this will work. 
We don't want to do wheat because we got to build a, a freaking windmill for that to deal with that. And then you have your bakery. Hmm, a bakery. Hmm, who knew? Because people can cook in their homes because there's a fire and there's a, 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 a cauldron. Hmm, who, who to thunk it? All right, so this is the first season we're going to do all maintenance. First year. Next year will be year or be, this is the A schedule then this will be the b schedule the second year and then see this year will bounce up to this year so it rotates and then we'll take out the maintenance schedule and then we'll put in uh, the third season so that's how that works and for now we're just gonna have two people work the field and we'll get over it oh we can upgrade hooray go <laughs> go go build <laughs> Build faster. Get whipped less. Now we can actually uh, start dropping. We'll pull a couple of people out of planks. We want them back in logging. And we can take somebody out of firewood production because we've caught up on that. So that's good. What we need to look at is another building. So let's go to resources and cobbler shop. Cobbler shop. Baby cobbler shop. Um, I think we could put the cobbler shop right here next to it doesn't need to be inside the citadel because it's not a priority building so actually I don't well if I put it here it'd be inside the citadel anyway the wall's going to go here oh no it won't okay so we need to put it because our people need shoes if you go up on the happiness see how it started to drop off a little bit Shoes, 69%. Clothes, 69%. So we need to get the cobbler shop and then the basket shop we're not going to be doing. That allows your people to carry more, so that's a, that's a nice little thing to have. But notice the cobbler shop doesn't bother anybody. So you could build it in the residential area and it ain't going to hurt. Um, we're going to build it... We can build it right outside the fence line. I got, oh, what do we got? Build a school. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're going to need more housing here. So let's slap in a house while we're at it. Boink, boink. And then rotate, rotate, rotate. And plop. That'll throw that in there. Um, oh, we're tier two. Hooray. Do, 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 do. Now, to get to tier three. Oh worms yeah see they're barefoot see disease hmm because they need shoes spirituality cleanliness and shoes so it tells you what you need so we need to build a cobbler shop baby cobbler shop so if we put the fence right here the fence line will be right here Um, we, this, oh, it goes here. So there's only room for two tiles of stuff here. The tower will be here. Okay. Um, how big is the, wait, I got to check my list here. Oh, they're booking down the road for your people? Um, I have it on two times speed. You look in the bottom left corner, you'll see I got two times speed. You can accelerate. Wow, NVIDIA, what? Best butt put in the extra two terabytes. Wow, girlfriend, how you doing? <laughs> can you help a brother out? I, I need a new computer too. Link in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> for my PayPal if you want to you know throw a donation my way appreciate you uh, what am I looking for I'm looking for oh the wagon shop three by three ah look here 
One, two, three, four. Come on, baby. Say you love me five, six, seven times. All right. We can put the cobbler shop right here. And then when the wagon shop, when that gets unlocked, we'll be able to put that right here in this area. Um, I think so. I think this will work. Okay. So I need some spirituality too. Um, that's not what we need. We just did that. What we need is soap, but we don't have tier two. Oh, yeah, we do. Soap shop. Cool. Now, to unlock these things, we got to have the stockyard and the wagon shop. Okay. Well, let's get a soap shop going. Now, again, you can't build it near houses. See? It starts, things go to shite. So, we're going to put it over here in the industrial area. And we'll just leave a space between it and other buildings so it reduces the chance of fire spreading. That takes 50 boards. Ugh. All right, well, let's look at our labor. So we've got 15 laborers, so we've got plenty of people available. So what we're going to do is come over here. We're going to go ahead and assign one more person here. That will help clear that faster. Second, we're going to start building this, which is going to take 15 planks, and we're going to prioritize it. Soap shop, they got to cut down the tree and eat their lunch and all that good stuff. But we'll prioritize the compost yard, so that will get that built. We can go ahead and enable and get this completed. I'll take 50, uh, 50 gold. And see, we got a poo problem here. Okay? That's why we need this. So the night, uh, the night soil collector will come around and clean up the poo. Dell i7 workstation off eBay. One terabyte SSD installed, 16 gig RAM, and an NVIDIA. New villager born. Hooray. We don't have as many houses as I would like, but I have a plan. So let's go back to housing. We, I kind of like to have, um, as a rule of thumb, I like to have enough housing, additional housing, to take in at least 10 people. Okay. Now, this well is right here. So see this house here? It's close enough that it gets a 4% bump off the basic well. It's at 14 or 16%. This house is 17%, right? So the market being there helps, right? So now what we're going to look to do, and there's two new houses, hooray. Um, I don't know if I'm going to build this road. Actually, the wall will be here. Sure. Build the road there. Nope, can't go past the intersection. And then we can continue. Okay. <laughs> Producing archery item. What? Is storage is full? Well, why aren't you moving stuff out, dude? What the hell? Does this not store archery items? It does. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Uh, forager needs to start this way. And then we'll move it later. Okay. Planks are coming in. All right. Uh, this, this now is getting built. Or will. Now it's going to take 13 man labor hours. Or units of labor, I guess, would be a, a good way to put it. Take 13 units of labor to get built. So all the materials have been delivered. Now, look at this field. See how the rockiness and the weed level? Weed level was here. See how it's down significantly? Okay. And see peas here? Peas, well, they have no weed suppression. That's okay. And 
And then we may have plenty of laborers running around. So we still have 10 laborers running around. So we can put some more labor here. Everybody should have hide coats. Yeah, we got 16 of those. That's good. That's real good. All right. Now that we're at tier two also, you know what we can build? Ha 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 ha. Trading post. Let me turn this sucker. Oh, it's a four by four. That's right. There's the wall. This is going to be about as centrally located unless I put this here. You know what? Actually, yeah, we're going to put it here. Let me see here. Which way do we want to have this turned? Wait, trading post is what? Five by three? Ah, crap. Um, okay, how big is the barracks? I think the barracks is four by three. Rat catcher, bakery, barn, do -do 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 pub, housing, blah, 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 blah. Shoot. Hold, please. Arborist building, vault. Wagon shop, roots soup. Oh, armory's four by three. How do I not? I've got trading posts written on here. Oh, there it is, four by five. Oh, hmm. Okay, the fence is going in that row. So we need room off of the corner of this building for um, a tower, which is going to help cover the industrial area. Fuck it, right there. That's good. Go. All right, we got a poop, poop uh, plant. Hooray. All right, so now if we look here, you'll see, see the poop thing is gone. The poop is gone. All right, and now see the herbalist is pe picking up the herbs, which will be good because we'll have tallow. And then we will have, um, we will have um, herbs to make soap. And that will make people happy, 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 happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Now, things like this clay deposit, see there? It's not unlimited. It has 2,483 clay. So as soon as we get uh, our shizzle up here, and it's going to, unfortunately, that's a temple. It's not the temple of doom. We're going to need a healer's house, but you can't put a healer into it until you've got real regular income. Oh, Oh, I got somebody in the tower. We don't need someone in the tower. So we're going to disable the lookout tower. You can put up to two people in the in the tower. But unless you're under attack, then, I mean, you can keep it disabled. You'll get an indicator that you're under attack. Okay? And we know that there is the bad guy camp right there. So I figure that's going to be their axis of attack. But they could also come from over here because we know there's a second one over here. And we know there's a third one over here. All right, good show. So now, this field here, okay? So now it's out of season. Make sure those people are out. Now, that means next year... Okay, see how this works? 
Then we do the same thing. We do that, this, and that, I think. Derp, derp, derp. Uh, slide, slide to the right. There. Is that right? Peas, maintenance, clover. Yep. And then year three is going to be flax and clover. Okay. And then we rotate that when the season's over. Nobody's watching? Yeah, he's just chatting. I kind of figured as much. <clears throat> we're getting a little low on... No, we're not. we got firewood and we got logs coming in. That's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, harvest resources. We still got all that indicated, so that's good. Probably about time we got a really cold winter. Uh, the cobbler shop, cobbler shop, and then we can shut down the forager shack. <clears throat> so we shift your resources around. It does become a little uh, cumbersome, but it's doable. People are not terribly happy. We probably won't get any immigrants, but now, oh look, it just went up. Pray. Uh, people are getting shoes, they're getting clothes, we've got food. Not tons of food. Oh. Yeah, no. We got we got a lot of meat. <laughs> and if you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. So, 44 people. We've got our facilities coming together. Oh, no. Now, see, this is, see deadly cold temperature? Work stops. Okay? So, basically, we've just lost a month of productivity. Um, so, February, you know, if you want to say that the year begins at January, and then winter is January, February, March, or, you know, December, January, February, we're going into February now. Now, this should change here in just a second to something a little more, you know, desirable. I said it should change to something a little more desirable. There we go. All right, so now everybody comes out. Back to work. Oh, by the way, if I get a call, so I've been rebuilding my OBS on, on at least on Super Hercules here. You know, so I have I had to build um, the new profile for Farthest Frontier, right? So, of course, I have our MacArthur. And then we have our Merovingian. And then we have Bobby Boucher. Because the mama says that dehydration is the devil. If I have to get some high-quality H2O. And then here's the new one. You ready for the new one? Ready for the new one? Ready for the new one? There's the new one. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. Especially if you've seen the movie. And if you haven't seen the movie, Tom Cruise's character, you're like, is that Tom Cruise? What? It's hilarious. Hilarious. Robert Downey Jr. is hilarious in this movie. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's why that says what that says. So, yeah, there's the... Uh... <laughs> Who's going full retard and calling me while I'm doing a live stream? Be right black or back. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so he's totally convinced he's uh he he's just playing a black guy in the movie. It's hilarious. Oh man. 
Anyway, I think that's funny. All right, back to the game. Back to work, people. How are we doing? Oh, this, this I think, is pretty empty, actually. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Old Mother Hubbard's cupboard is bare. Um, but, yay, hooray, the trading post is built. Yay. Awesome. We got a little bit of cash. This is good. And uh, we do have some stuff to trade. This is good. All right, we're at the beginning of year six, and we are calling it quits here because it's almost 9 o'clock and... Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do, put three people in that field, three people in that field. Okay. Now we go go back to our labor and it says we have no laborers, of course. Um, but we're going to uh, take people out of the uh, Sawyer. And uh, we don't need anybody in the uh, trading post at the moment. So we just do that. All right. So then we go back here and see labor. Now we got seven. All right. So that is how we do that. So now we'll get a, a trader come along uh, about the second month or so, second to third month. Cool. Farthest frontier. Here, let's get a zoom in and get a close look so you can see that tree. That stuff is a little bit annoying. Whoops. Sorry. What the hell? Okay, there's the market, and then you can see the houses, and see people who put their laundry out, and all that stuff, in the town center, and here's Walmart over here, got a bunch of gold bars just laying around, that must be Sam Walton's personal Walmart. Now here's the trading post. It's got its stuff going on. The log cutters. Plank makers. The tannery. What the hell is this sliding around for? Tannery looks cool. The soap makers will be up here. They just need one more plank. Hunters. Hunting cabins. Uh, the cobblers, I don't think there's anything real special about this building. It's just got a sign on it. it. Indicates what it is. Some of their wares. Uh, here's Home Depot. So we got some logs and some stone stored up. Firewood, I think, is at... Nope, tallow, gold... Gold should be stored in the town center. Hmm. We do have a little bit of weapons. We do have hide coats. Ah, here we go. Arrows. Stuff got moved. That's good. Uh, then here's the, the fields over here. Of course, there's our uh, herbalist. Put them back to work. There's this here, which I got to figure out what to do with. I think we got to build a temple. Yep. Temple of Doom. Then here's the poop pit, compost dude. He'll run around town with his wheelbarrow and collect the poop from everyone's house and then start filling up these bins. And once those bins get filled up, then you assign them to a field. They, they compost over the course of like a year. And then, um, then uh, it goes uh, into the fields for fertilizer. Um, so if we look at the houses real quick, see, no poop bucket. So they got firewood, they got food. These people got a lot going on. They got water, firewood, meat, herbs, berries, and greens. They're eating good in the neighborhood. This house might as well be the Applebee's house. See, ah, now this house has a little bit of poo in it, but the guy will come around and get that. That's really nothing. That's the only house there. That one's got a little bit. So the, the, night, uh, the night soil collector will come around and scoop the poop. 
And so one thing I think we'll do here is just build that right there. And that will make his job. See, here he is actually right here. This is the Knights Hall Collector. Collecting waste. No education, no ailments. But he's got he's got shoes, he's got linen clothes, and he's got hide coat. So he's he's good to go. Yes, they have poop in their houses. This is what I was talking about, Q. Um, the big difference between this and what I think needs to be brought into medieval dynasty is there's no filth, pestilence, or disease in medieval dynasty. And that was common in this era of humanity. I mean, where did you go to the bathroom? Did you want to go out and poop behind the tree? Not if it's 32 degrees outside, you don't. You poop in a bucket, right? There's no outhouses for these houses. Tier two, there will be an outhouse when, when we upgrade the houses. The problem is they've got to get up here to, I think, 30 points to upgrade. And see, so we can upgrade the market, but we've got to have 50 bricks, 300 gold, and 60 planks. And we've, we got ways to go to do all that. So, but this is uh, this is farthest frontier. There's some really cool stuff. It would be great if they would incorporate into medieval dynasty. Waste, pestilence, and disease being part of that. We've gotten lucky. The only we only have one person die so far. We have a cemetery, and see, he'll have. See, there's one plot. I think that's. Nope. Where is his headstone? There it is. Yeah, there's his headstone right there. Oh, no, we've had two people die. Right. So they get a headstone in the cemetery. You click on that, and it'll hold 140 people. So. Plus, um, now we're in year six. We're going to have to start watching for our first raid. Um, he's making one bow we got one bow in storage we need actually here we're going to reduce that increase the number of bows and if we have the person we don't we're below eh, seven, pfft, whatever. It's close enough. So we're good for now. It'd be it would help if we got, you know, another six people in, but it just becomes a continuing thing. Uh, no, he just basically, yeah, he just turns to Roto Rooter. Seven Eleven, what? What are we talking about? Seven Eleven. I love Seven Eleven. I go. I'm in Seven Elevens every day. Yeah, I need Seven Eleven here. I love their deli chicken salad sandwiches and their tuna salad sandwiches are good and their turkey and ham sandwiches are good. I'll stop in there and get a couple of bottles of water, um, either like a chicken salad sandwich. Well, it depends on what time of day it is. I'm in there sometimes two to three times a day because I've. I'm, I'm all over Dallas Fort Worth doing my job so it's either stop there or a QT or if necessary a racetrack that's the order um, I've probably been in 75 to 100 different 7-elevens around DFW and they're all over the place here but uh, love love their deli sandwiches their chicken salad is fantastic Tuna salad's great, especially if you can match it up with a bag of Lay's dill pickle uh, chips. Mmm. Yum. Good stuff. So, all right, gang. That, I think, is going to do it for this episode of Farthest Frontier. Yeah, we did. Oh, look, it's just under three hours. Hooray. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. Farthest Frontier now available on Steam from Crate Entertainment. Go get you some of this. Really cool game. It does have a learning curve to it, but you can simplify the game. You can take out the bandits. You can take out the animals. You can just play pacifist mode. 
and just build, make it easy, it's fantastic. Yeah, we got Home Depot and Walmart. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, Q, if you would, um, if you're on Discord, under where, wherever Steve-O threw his uh, thing under there, where, where did you say you put your, your idea or whatever, Steve-O? Anyway, throw your system specs up on there because uh, I kind of want to see them all grouped together. So uh, I want to check this out, check out, uh, excuse me, computers and stuff. I think I may wind up having to go credit card, but we'll see how work shakes out. Uh, say a prayer for my family. My parents both have COVID. Um, mom's not doing great, and dad is distraught because he can't go see her. He's quarantined to the house for the next five days. So that sucks. Uh, hopefully I don't get sick. I saw mom Saturday. I think I saw dad a week ago Sunday. So if he was the source, I should be okay. Mom, eh. Um, I mean, I didn't get too close except to kiss her on the forehead a couple times. And so, but uh, we'll see. She's hanging in there. He's my bigger concern right now. So anyway, thanks everyone. Um, today is Thursday, so tomorrow's Friday. We may have a feudal Friday. I have a couple of jobs and then when I get home, we'll see, evaluate and... Uh, we will look to see you guys again soon. I'll probably go back over and do Medieval Dynasty tomorrow. I'm going to try to set up a schedule. And uh, but I've wanted to, I've been talking about Farthest Frontier for the for you know a long time, and I have videos on the channel, but it's also nice to be able to walk you guys through it and y'all be here firsthand. So super cool game, can't recommend it enough. It's fantastic. And there's a new version about to come out. There's an update, the 9.2 update, that increases and improves combat. So if you like the idea of this kind of game, a medieval city builder with combat, this is about to kick it in the ass because you'll have four different types of soldiers and you have, you know, there's like archers, spearmen, uh, uh, fighters, and maybe, I don't know if there's cavalry or not. You'll have to check out the site for uh, the game. But they got really cool stuff coming along. It's neat. And it's a beautiful game. So that, that screenshot is from one of my villages, previous villages I built. So super cool stuff. Thank you again, guys. Appreciate y'all being here. Like, share, and subscribe. Join us on Discord. Link in the description below. Donations are greatly welcome and appreciated at paypal.me slash games. It's paypal.me slash games. Link in the description below as well. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm May Train. It's over. And I'm out.